Welcome to Finance and Excel video number 47. Hey, if you want to download this workbook or the PDFs for uh, chapter 6, just click on the link below this video and then scroll way down to the finance class section. Hey, in this video, we got us, we're going to start in our uh, PDFs. Last video, we did the math calculations for a coupon bond for the bondholder, right? The bondholder's buying a future set of cash flows. Now, this is the day that the bond was issued. So when we did our calculation, this bondholder was willing to pay $975 and, and two pennies, which is a cash flow out, willing to pay that much for these future click cash flows. Now, this is on the day that the bond was issued, but this bondholder could go ahead and hold it. But what if and we have a picture of the bondholder? Here's the bondholder, right? Uh, the bondholder, she's holding this coupon bond contract, right? And now um, two years have elapsed. So there's period four, five, and six. These cash flows are the only ones left. Uh, 50 bucks here, 50 bucks here, and 1,000 here. So this contract now has the right to receive these future cash flows. Well, this contract can be sold, right? So uh, bondholder number one, now a bond seller in the secondary market, right? This transaction has nothing, no money is going to the corporation, right? Uh, she sells the bondholder, bondholder number one, to bondholder number two. And this guy pays a thousand nine dollars and thirty six cents, and he's paying that amount for these future cash flows. Now, uh, let's go up and look at this, and we'll talk about why this is um, a premium and why the last example we did is a discount in a later video. But here's our calculations, right? So bondholder number one sells to bondholder number two at the end of year two, and the rate in the market. Yield to market rate on similar securities is 9%. So here's our coupon. The coupon is still the same. It's just the yield to market. This is the discount. Now notice this rate is less than the coupon, right? All right, so we're, we're going to do the math. We come down here. These are the cash flows. We're solving for present value at time four. Here's our calculation. We plug everything in, and this bondholder pays bondholder number one, $1,009.36. Uh, at time period four in order to get future cash flows. Now there's our little drawing there. There's our um, uh, two bondholders. Let's go over and do the math. So I'm on sheet six to ten in the last video. By the way, it said six to seven and that was incorrect. So here we are. Same face value and this is from uh, the point of view of uh, the bond bondholder number two. We're going to do the calculation in terms of uh, the person buying the bond. So we need, still need to do our coupon rate. Uh, that's the ten percent. Hey, that's in the contract. It just sits in that contract. However long that contract um, exists, we divide that by two. Our total number of periods. Oh, n still is two, but there's only one year left. So that means there's two periods. The PMT is going to be our 5% period rate times our face. Notice we're using the coupon rate uh, to calculate PMT only. This actually should say a coupon rate. Look, it automatically changed to uh, and this should be a All right, now our yield to market, oh, it's 9%. We will come to some conclusion about uh, how rates move and what happens to the price of the bond in uh, our next video. There it is, 9%. Just at this point, take note that the, the last example in the last video was at 11%, which was more than the coupon. This one is less than the coupon. All right, so yield to market, we still have to take that market rate divided by 2. And now we do our present value calculation. Hey, the rate, ooh, that's our new yield to market. Remember, this is two years out. Um, they're selling this, so you just got to use the rate in the market. And all we're doing is using that rate to discount these cash flows. NPER, PMT, 
uh, this is from the point of view of the second bond holder, so that's coming in. That's an interest payment, same with the future value. All right, so let me answer that. And now we want to take uh, notice of a pattern here. I'm going to zoom in out on this and notice. All right, so the face value, thousand bucks on the all of these examples. Uh, we're we're just going to look at the uh, uh, coupon bond here, but thousand buck, thousand buck, thousand bucks. Right? What happens when the rate the yield to market, the market rate is less than the coupon rate. Well, it looks like this amount is greater than the face value. Okay, so that's pattern number one. What about over here? Same thousand bucks, ten percent. Ah, but the rate is greater than. Let's see, th this is less than a thousand. Hmm. Uh, same with over here. This is just a different point of view. Now here's the deal, and we have a whole couple videos coming up just on this topic, but. For to end this video, I want you to notice. If the corporation says, hey, people, I'm offering you 10% in this contract, but similar securities out in the market on the day you issue this are, are offering 11, nobody would come and buy a 10% interest rate. So the deal is you have to discount the security you're selling. So in order to get people to take your 10%, you have to reduce the price. Right? Everyone else is offering 11 uh, out in the market on this particular day. Your contract says 10, no problem. Just reduce the price, and then people will actually come and buy it. Same situation over here. Uh, we have 10%, and the market's offering 9%. That means every single person would rush over to this corporation and say, I want this rate. So what do they do? They raise the price. All right. Now, when you issue a bond above the face value, you raise the price. And so you use the word premium. This bond is issued at a premium. This one is issued at a discount. Now, you can think of this just like the store, right? Here's um, the face value, but since the rate is lower than everything in the market, you have to discount it a little bit. So that's why they use this bond is issued as a discount. This one, uh, much better 10% than the actual going market rate, so we can sell it at a premium. All right, we'll see you next video.